guys, my name is Kat and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to do a video of all the books that I hope to finish reading in the month of June. So um, a little backstory, I like uh, crime books, I like fiction books, I like books about celebrities, I pretty much like everything. So. These are just some books that I picked up from the library and I need to finish them fast and I think I kind of got too many and I was being a little over eager, but we'll see if I can finish it. So the first book that I picked up from the library is called Next Level Basic. Now, if you know, if you don't know who this is, this is um, Stassi. She is in Vanderpump Rules, which is a reality TV show on HBO. I'm into um, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and one of the main characters is the boss of all these kids that uh, work at this bar called Vanderpump. So um, this is about one of the waitresses, and let me just read what it's about to you guys because I don't think you have to be a fan of the show in order to read this. I think that it's just a fun book. So, um, in Next Level Basic, the reality star, podcast queen, hot dog connoisseur, and ranch dressing expert gives you hilarious and pointed lessons on how to have fun and celebrate yourself with exclusive stories from her own life and the set of Vanderpump Rules from her very public breakups. So, yeah, that's what it's about. Um, I read a few pages so far and it's so funny and she talks about how she likes brain dressing, which is random and cool <laughs> and how it's okay to like things that everyone likes to make jokes of like iced coffee and pumpkin spice latte so this rang true to me and I was like I need to get it so here you go it's fairly new I believe okay the next book that I picked up is called The Insta Diaries I believe and it's by R.O. Kwan. So this is a book about a cult. Um, pretty much it follows three characters in the book. Um, Phoebe, Will, and uh, one other guy who, what is his name? John Leal. And pretty much um, it's about these college age students who get involved in a cult that has ties to Korea and then pretty much they bomb a building and then they disappear and then it's kind of like a mystery about what happens. So I'm on chapter, the chapters are pretty um, short and I'm on chapter 13 so far. So you can see I'm like this far. This is what I've read so far. And it's pretty interesting. The writing is really different. It's kind of artsy in my opinion, I would say. But um, I've read a lot of books about cold, so I was like, might as well be interesting. Okay, and then I also picked this one up on a whim. Um, I like to go on uh, the Penguin Book Instagram or whatever, or Books of the Month Club on Instagram and they always show the books. And I believe this was on one of those sites. So this is called The Bride Test. This is just a regular rom-com happy book. So it's about this girl who lives in um, a different country and she never, feel, she never feels like she belongs. And this opportunity comes up where she can marry this American and she goes for it and um, now she's trying to convince this guy who doesn't love anything or anyone that she should be his bride and he should stay married to her so that's what it's about it's interesting so I <laughs> I didn't read anything about it I just picked the cover I was like cute okay the bride test so that's what this is about so it should be a quick fun read you know lay by the pool kind of read calm especially after that cult book that I got. I wanted something to like balance, balance it out. Cause I don't like reading a bunch of like harsh books all at once, you know? And it just kind of scares me, gives me nightmares. 
Okay. And the last book that I have here with me is Lost and Wanted. Okay, so this was just something that I picked. I have no idea what it's about. Um, it was just on my shelf, on the shelf at my library. All of these books I got at the library, by the way, if that wasn't clear. Um, I don't know what it's about and I just want to kind of be super surprised. I just picked it based off the cover. And I believe it's about space. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's about space. So, um, here, I'll read to you what it's about. So, surprise is over. Um, Helen Claps breakthrough work on five dimensional space timeline at her a tenured professorship at MIT. Her popular book explains physics in plain terms. Um, Helen disdains notions of the supernatural in favor of rational thought and proven ideas. So it's perhaps especially vexing for her when on an otherwise unremarkable Wednesday in June, she gets a phone call from a friend who has just died. That friend was Charlotte Boyce, Helen's roommate at Harvard. The two women had once confided in each other about everything in college. The unwanted advances Charlie received from a star literature professor after graduation, Helen's struggles as a young woman in science, Charlie's as a black screenwriter in Hollywood, their shared challenges as parents. But as the years passed, Charlie became more elusive and her calls came less and less often. And now she's per permanently, tragically gone. As Helen is drawn back into Charlie's orbit and also into the web of feelings she once had for Neil Jonnell, a former college classmate, now an acclaimed scientist on the verge of a Nobel Prize winning discovery. She is forced to question the laws of the universe that had always straighted her mind and heart. Wow. So it's a space book. I don't know if I really want to read this. Doesn't really sound like my cup of tea. Okay, so the last book, which I don't have with me, is called Girls Stop Apologizing. Me and my best friend were in a book club of two, so we pretty much just choose a book and that's the book that we're gonna read for sure that month. So Girl Stop Apologizing is also the author of Girl Wash Your Face or Wash Your Face or something. And it's just a nice like self-help book that's like just really cute and fun and it makes you feel um, good about yourself and want to do other things. So that's a book that I'm hoping to get soon and um that's all i got let me know what you guys are reading and if you like this kind of video i read books all the time so i just thought i would share this with you guys and that's all i've got for today um bye